Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, we are designing an onboarding screen for our website using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. In the previous video, I showed you how to write the HTML of our design and uh, this is how it looks right now. We have all the components of the website ready and uh, this is our goal. So we have this button over here and if I click on this button, we need to have this onboarding screen displayed over here and then we have the next steps over here and then we can finish the tutorial. So in this video, we're going to add CSS and make our design look like this. So let's get started. Right here in the HTML, I have already linked the style.css file over here. So let's go to our style.css file and let's start with our CSS. The first thing we will style is this button. So if you go back to our index.html file, here we can see for the button we have this class of onboarding button. So let's target that. Here I'll just type onboarding button. And first of all let's give it a padding of 12 pixels top and bottom and 32 pixels left and right. And we'll give it a font size of 18 pixels. And we'll also set the font weight to bold. And let's set the background color of this button to E63946. And let's remove the border. So I'll just have border none. And let's set the color of the text to white. And uh, we'll also add cursor to pointer. So when we hover over this, we have this cursor. So the design of the button is complete. Now let's start designing the rest of uh, the elements. First of all, let me add box sizing of border box to all the elements so that uh, we have the correct width and height for all the elements. So here we will target the onboarding container division and also all the other elements inside this division. So here I'll just type onboarding container, comma, onboarding container, asterisk. So this will select all the elements inside the onboarding container division and we'll set the box sizing to border box. Alright, now the next thing we will do is we will reduce the height and the width of these images. So the images are inside this division with the class of image. So let's go back to our style.css file and here I'll just type onboarding container image and in that we have the SVG. So I'll just type SVG over here and let's set the height of the image to 150 pixels and we'll set the width of the image to 100%. And we'll also add a margin of 32 pixels top and bottom and 0 for left and right. Right now the next thing we will do is we will style the overlay. So if we go back to our index.html file, here we can see we have this division with the class of onboarding overlay. So if we go back to our original design and if I click on this show demo button, we can see we have this dark overlay behind this onboarding screen. So let's style that. So let's go to our style.css file and uh, Let's target the onboarding overlay division. First of all, we'll set the background color to RGBA and we'll set it to 0, 0, 0 and for the opacity, I'll just type 0 0.4 and let's set the position to fixed and we'll set the left position to 0 and the top position to 0 and let's set the height to 100 viewport height and let's set the width to 100%. So now we can see we have this dark overlay. Now we don't want to display this overlay by default. So by default we will set the opacity to 0. So I'll just type opacity 0. And when we click on the show demo button we will display the overlay. But right now we can see that we cannot click on the show demo button. So for that we have to set the pointer events of this overlay to none. And uh, now we'll be able to click on the button. Alright now when we click on this button we're going to add a class called active to this onboarding overlay. So here I'll just type onboarding overlay dot active and here I'll just set the opacity back to 1 and we'll also add smooth transition so I'll just type transition and set it to all 400 milliseconds ease. Alright now let's go back to our HTML and let's add the class active over here for the overlay and now we can see that the overlay is displayed over here. Alright let's go back to our styler CSS file and let's continue styling this. Now let's style this content. So if you go back to our index.html file, here we can see we have this division with the class of onboarding container and in that we have this division with the class of content. So let's target this. So here I'll just type onboarding container content. First of all, let's set the background color to white. 
Now the color is not being added because we don't have the correct Z index for the onboarding container. So here I'll just type onboarding container and uh, let's set the Z index to let's say 300 and uh, if you go over here to the overlay we can see that we have set a position of fixed so we need to have some position for this onboarding container so here also I'll just set the position to fixed and now we can see we have this background color now the next thing we will do over here is set the font family to Roboto so I'll just type font family Roboto and sans serif and uh, let's set the left position to 50% and uh, let's set the top position to 50% so that it is in the center so right now it starts from the center so we have to move this 50% of itself to the left and the top so for that we have to type transform translate and uh, we have to type negative 50% for the x axis and negative 50% for the y axis right now it is in the center now let's also add some box shadow so I'll just type box shadow and uh, let's set the values to 0 4 pixels 40 pixels negative 8 pixels RGBA 0 0 0 and 0 0.4 right now the next thing we will do over here is we will set a max width for this content so I'll just type max width and let's set it to 300 pixels and we'll also add a padding of 24 pixels Alright, now let's position all these steps one next to the other. So let's go back to our index.html file. And here we can see we have this division with the class of steps. And in that we have this division with the class of step for each of the steps. So let's target this steps division. Here I'll just type onboarding container steps. And let's set the display to flex. Now we can see all these steps are one next to the other. Now we need to display just one step at a time so we need to increase the width of the steps division to three times the width of its container so here we have to type width and we have to set it to 300 percent and now we can see we have the correct width for all these uh, steps all right now let's style all the other elements so first of all let's style this s3 so here we can see we have this s3 over here so let's target that here I'll just type onboarding container s3 and first of all let's set the margin to 0 and let's set the font size of the heading to 32 pixels and let's text align it to the center so I'll just type text align center right now let's style this paragraph so here we can see in the index.html file we have this paragraph tag so here I'll just type onboarding container p and let's set the line height to 1.8 right now let's style this button so if you go back to our original design we can see for the button we have this full width for the button and uh, since we have added a padding for this container division we cannot have full width for this button so let's go back over here to this uh, content division and we will change the padding to just padding top and uh, we will add the padding over here for the S3 and the paragraph so I'll just type padding 0 for top and bottom and 32 pixels left and right and we will do the same for the paragraph I'll just type padding 0 32 pixels All right now let's style the button so let's type onboarding container and for the button we have this uh, button with the class of next BTN so let's target that here I'll just type next BTN and let's set the width to 100% and let's set the padding to 16 pixels top and bottom and 32 pixels left and right or maybe we can increase it to 18 pixels right now let's set the font size to 16 pixels and let's set the font weight to bold and we'll remove the border so I'll just have border none and we'll set the cursor to pointer and uh, we will add a background color of 1d3557 and let's set the color of the text to white we'll also set the text transform to uppercase All right that's it with the button now let's style this skip button so for the skip button we have this uh, anchor tag with the class of skip btn so let's target that here let's type onboarding container skip btn now we'll position this button relative to this onboarding container division so here I'll just type position absolute and uh, let's set the top position to 8 pixels 
and let's set the right position to 16 pixels and uh, let's set the font size to 14 pixels and let's set the font weight to bold and uh, we'll also set the text transform to uppercase and let's set the color of the text to 636363 so that's it with the skip button now let's design these dots over here so for the dots we have created this division with a class of dots and in that we have these uh, divisions with the class dot so let's target them so here i'll just tap onboarding container dot and let's set the width of the dot to 10 pixels and the height to 10 pixels and uh, let's set a background color of db 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 and uh, let's set border radius of 50 percent so that we have round shape and now we can see we have these three dots over here let's also add the active dot so for the first dot we have a class of active so let's target that here i'll just type onboarding container dot dot active and let's set the background color to two to two so this is the active dot now let's position this over here in the center and we also want it to be one next to the other so let's target the container division which is dots so i'll just type onboarding container dots and let's set the display to flex and uh, justify content to the center and we'll also have a gap of 8 pixels and now we can see that the dots look all right now the last thing we will do is we will hide all the other steps besides the current step so let's go back over here to the content and here we will add a property called overflow of hidden and now everything outside this content will be hidden or right, that's basically it with the design of the onboarding screen and uh, that's it for this video in the next video i'll show you how to add the functionality of this onboarding screen using javascript so if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day